You're watching TSU TV 98. News 98, it's homecoming week at TSU. See what happens and what's still to come. Plus, after months of hammering and building concrete, see what building has a new look for students. From the TSU News Network, your News 98 starts now. Good evening and welcome to TSU TV News 98. I'm Devakio Brown. And I'm Courtney Mickens. TSU Homecoming is in full swing. The Homecoming theme code 102 kicked off Sunday with many events, including the gospel concert. Ashley Palmer has more on this story. Operation Gospel started the week off in a spiritual way. Kendrick Bartiz, president of TSU's New Direction Gospel Choir, said it's essential to start off Homecoming with the gospel concert. We want to get people to like my answer in the right place in order for them to go forth and to be responsible and count this week. The night was filled with singing, praise dancing, and miming. Among the performers were New Direction Gospel Choir, MTSU's Gospel Choir Generation of Praise, Elijah's Fire and My Ministry, and Nate Ben and Forgiven. According to Zianka Sarr, the goal of the gospel explosion was not to put on a show, but to praise the Lord. The choir that we praise God together, you know, and in our rehearsals, we get what we need, and we like to pour into other folks when it's time for the concert. It's not just a show for us, it's for us to come together as one and to praise God. Nate Bean says he has been performing with his group since the age of 16. For him, ministry matters most when it comes to higher education. Uh, anything that's ordained by God, he, he does the rest. Whether it's schools or ministry, um, they coincide. They're almost one of the same. And um, when you get in there, God always, always directs, um, directs your path in that area. And I Students ended the gospel explosion with a bang as they joined Bean and others on stage. For TSU News 98, I'm Ashley Palmer. Following that concert was a caravan block party to get students excited for the week. The Battle of the Residence Halls is a chance for students to showcase their talents and to represent their dorms. Before the event, News 98 talked to students to see what they had to say about with who's going to take the title. I know Wilson's going to win it. They get it every year. That's funny. Yeah, that's going to win. Yeah, that's right? Yeah. Look at the best of both worlds. I feel like Bory going to win because Bory always get live at the Battle of the Dorms. I thought they were fair. Watson won, which was good. The guy played the saxophone. And that was something different, something a lot of people don't get to experience. So I think it was a pretty good outcome. Football Hall of Famer Claude Humphrey and former directors of the Honors Program will be recognized at this year's scholarship gala. Doctors McDonald and Jamie Williams are being honored for their dedication and service to TSU. Hosting the night's event will be comedian Jonathan Slocum, graduate student and saxophonist Jasmine Gent, along with other TSU's finest will be entertaining guests. The gala will take place Friday at the Music City Center. The reception starts at 6 p.m. The gala starts at 7. Free parking and shuttle service is available from the Avon Williams campus from 5.15 to 11 p.m. Homecoming continues with even more events for the rest of the week. Tomorrow is homecoming concert including Juicy J and Little Duval at 7 p.m. in the Gentry Complex. The pep rally will be Friday at noon in Hale Stadium and on Friday join the Greeks at the Panhelic Step Show at 5 p.m. in the Gentry Complex. Tickets are on sale for $10. There will be $20 at the door. The homecoming parade will take place Saturday at 9 a.m. The parade will take place at 14th, Jefferson, 14th and Jefferson Street to 23rd and John Merritt Boulevard. The pregame show starts at 545 at LP Field and the kickoff is at 6. Tennessee State University is putting out a warning for students during this month to stay safe during home to, homecoming season. Campus warned uh, to leave campus with not to leave campus with strangers. Police also cautioned students not to carry large amounts of cash with them on their ATM and credit cards. Officers add you shouldn't let new friends visit you in your room. Instead, stick to public areas like the student center. 
Their last warning is to avoid dimly lit parts of campus where you're alone at night. Coming up, TSU is adding a new building that has campus talking. And see what event has TSU students traveling to another university to learn. Coming up next. TSU President Glenda Glover joined by Dean Sandra Reedy and other university officials, federal and state stakeholders, and elected officials held a ribbon-cutting ceremony for three new buildings on campus. The three buildings are worth $12 million combined and were funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture through its National Institute of Food and Agriculture. The Agricultural Biotechnology Building is the first new building constructed at the university in nearly eight years. It contains more than 12 state-of-the-art labs for cutting-edge research, including DNA synthesis and analysts. TSU Mass Communication students spent a day at Lipscomb University discussing guns, gays, and politics. The day-long media ethics conference was entitled Morality and the Media. The panel discussions of three issues, including how the media covers them, lunch, a lunch after the break, keynote speaker Al Tompkins, senior faculty at the Pointer Institute, spoke on the difference between accuracy and truth, as well as thinking critically. Thompson says the most important skill a journalist can have is the skill of critical thinking and looking beyond what happened. TSU's aristocrat of bands are gearing up for the 2015 Honda Battle of the Bands in hopes that they are selected. The event will take place in January 2015 in Atlanta, Georgia with the theme March On. Each year, eight bands from HBCUs all across the country are selected to showcase their talent at the Georgia Dome. In order for TSU to win one of the spots in the showcase, they need your help. Voters can go to HondaBattleOfTheBands.com to vote for the six times a day. Voting ends October 15th. <clears throat> one in five students become victims of sexual assault on, co on college campuses across the United States. The White House is calling this an epidemic. Lawmakers in California recently approved a bill to, cu to curtail sexual assault on college campuses. The yes means yes bill passed unanimously at the California State Senate says sex between people should be an affirmative, conscious and voluntary agreement to engage in sexual activity. Silence or the lack of resistance does not qualify as consent. The use of drug and alcohol does not excuse unwanted sexual behavior. California Governor Jerry Brown has until the end of September to sign the bill into law. If signed, state-funded colleges and universities would have to be implemented into their policies to continue receiving funds for financial aid. Tennessee State University plans to celebrate their first annual lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender history month in October. TSU students group Gay Straight Alliance and Nashville Black Pride joined together to create a week-long event with the university. During the week, the New Black, a documentary directed by Yoruba Ricken that sheds light on gay right issues in the African-American community will be screened. According to the Director of Equal Opportunity and Affirmative Action, Tiffany Cox, the week is a result of receiving a part of a $4,000 grant. TSU is one of four historically black colleges and universities receiving the grant. Coming up, see how the Tigers show the TSU spirit at the first game in the hole. And find out how homecoming comes together next in Tiger Talk. Welcome back, TSU. Today in Tiger Talk, we have Simone Tunstall here, a member of the Student Union Board of Governors. The event plan is for homecoming. How are you doing today, Simone? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, what inspired the theme, Cold Blue Mission 102 for homecoming? Well, Tennessee State University, we've went through so many different themes over the year, so we were looking for something a little bit different, but actually 102 represents the 102 years Tennessee State University has been in existence. Okay, great. Now, what does it take to plan these events? When did you guys get started? We actually got started last year on Christmas break. 
it takes so much in preparation for this. We actually have to get volunteers just to help us with decorations and things like that. It's so much work. Oh, wow, Christmas, that's yes. a long time, but y'all are doing a great job. Now, what do you think will be the most exciting event for homecoming this year? The most exciting event, I believe, for homecoming would have to be the block party just because it starts off the week and it's really just the anticipation of the students so far seeing what's to come. So I would have to say the block party. Okay, now, there have been speculations about August Alcina possibly not performing for homecoming. Do you have any comments on that? Yes, August Alcina, as everybody's seen the video, did go viral of him. He will not be here. His um, contractors and stuff, they told us that, you know, they won't be able to do it anymore. Okay, so do you, you guys are having a future performance to take a spot, is that correct? That is correct. We're actually working on some things like that right now. But if everybody would please follow the TSU Sub G page, we do have another person taking his place. And I'm pretty sure Tennessee State University will be very pleased with that. So if everybody stays tuned, we have somebody to replace August Alcina. Okay, great. Well, um, Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, coming up next in sports, see who the Tigers will play for the 2014 homecoming game. Many complained about the heat last Saturday, but that did not stop our Tigers from gaining another victory. Playing their first game in Hale Stadium against Tennessee Tech University, Big Blue dominated with a 10-7 win. Both teams scored their touchdowns in the first quarter. Freshman Lane Clark, number 41, scored the field goal that led the Tigers to their third victory of the season. The TSU women's volleyball team is rebounding after a tough start this year's season. But that did not stop the Lady Tigers from defeating East Tennessee State University this past Tuesday with a 3-1 win. The Lady Tigers are preparing for the next home game, which will be on this upcoming Friday, September the 26th at 6 o'clock p.m. Beat us there. Get geeked. It's homecoming week. While some students enjoy the fun field events, others wait patiently for the Tigers' fifth game of the season. Playing against Florida A&M, the Tigers are 3-1 with high hopes to be 4-1 after this weekend. TSU will play FAMU Saturday at 6 p.m. at the LP Field. The Tigers will be honoring former player called Humphrey as he gets recognized for his induction into the NFL Hall of Fame during halftime. So, make sure you come out and support our Tigers as they battle against the rival Rattlers this Saturday for Homecoming 2014. And oh my goodness, I'm so ready for this Homecoming game. Like, defense is really aggressive this season. Like, they're on the ball. And we'll be there. Yes, yes, so two snaps. It's Homecoming week, you guys. And yes. let me shout out the volleyball team because they are working hard, they like are. very hard. So, very hard. hey, they yeah. won this last game and against yeah. uh, East Tennessee State. <laughs> yeah, they are. And it was beautiful. Yeah, so, yeah, hey, are. you guys, I want y'all right. to know yeah. that our, matter of fact, <laughs> championships, we're going to be all right. We're going to make yeah. it to the championships. We're make it. Oh, yes. Coming up, see what music concert is coming to TSU. <laughs> <laughs> and see next how the music department is taking over TSU. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Y'all pity. I'm just playing. Join the theater department as they present Off the Page, directed by Chante Caraballo. The show will take place October 2nd through the 4th at 7 p.m. in the Cox Lewis Theater. This event is free to the public. The Department of Music and the National Association of Composers presents a concert of new music. The concert will feature music composed by members of the Mid-South Chapter of the Nakusa. This event will take place on Sunday, October 12th at 2 p.m. in the Goins Recital Hall of the Performing Arts Center. And best of all, it's free! If you enjoy the orchestra, this event is for you. The University in Fine Arts of Sciences of Bolivar in Colombia, America, will showcase their musical stylings at TSU. The Symphony Orchestra of Bolivar will perform at the Pogue Auditorium in the Humanities Building at 7 p.m. on October 30th. This concert is also free. So, is anybody going to the concert? 
Yeah. That sounds like it's gonna be entertaining. Yeah. I might have to check it out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all that we have for this edition of TSU TV News. Join us this time, October 8th, for more news that you can use. Good night. Good night.